Yo, what's up guys? I'm gonna video one today, man. Wow. I might have just win this literally one of the worst basketball games of all time, okay? Today's game four. Clipper Suns. The final score of today's game was 84 to 80 at a point. Both teams didn't score for six straight minutes. They both were, I believe, one for ten from the field, okay? This was probably the worst fourth quarter I've ever seen in my life. And literally one of the worst games of all time, okay? This game was just flat out horrendous, okay? And this happens in a conference finals game. The best of the best talent. And we see a final score being 84-80. For today, the Suns win and they go 3-1. The Suns are now one game away from going to the championship, okay? Who saw the Suns going to the finals? Okay, now I know injuries. I know Murray injured. I know LeBron obviously injured. AD injured. I know, I know injuries, 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 and more injuries. But at the end of the day, this just happened, okay? It just happened, okay? And now they have Kawhi Leonard injured now for the Clippers. So, uh, I mean, I think they're a good team, yes, but injuries definitely played a big part of them being right now in the college finals. But, A, hey, it's still a good team, and I hope to see Chris Paul win a ring, so I am not mad at all, okay? But wow, like I said, today literally was a horrible game. Fast forward to the end, okay? At the end, Paul George, as a bonus ends, missed an extremely clutch free throw once again, like Paul George, man. Paul George, Paul George. Last game, we give you some more respect. What do you do next game? you miss a clutch free throw okay pg at this point it literally has to be a troll okay i don't know why you just crack under pressure when the game is on the line okay like you're in staples center you're in la you're in a storied arena live up to the hype okay you make so much money and you just crack under the pressure when it matters the most. And I just don't get it. But this PG, I personally am a fan of you. But it's so hard to just like defend somebody that's just always struggling the playoff and missing clutch shots, clutch free throws. Like it's just super, super tough. Also today for the Suns, my God, once again, did Chris Paul and Booker struggle today. Chris Paul today went six for 22. Yes, you're that right. Six for 22. He had more assists than field goals made today. Like, how is that possible? Literally, how is that even mathematically possible? <laughs> like, I know you're off the road now, but buddy, hit your shots, man. Oh my God. And Booker today took off his mask and still played horrendous. Okay, Booker today. He went 8 for 22, 0 for 5 from 3. Like Booker today, like man. I know your nose is fractured, took off your mask and all, but man. How did you and Chris Paul today combine to shoot 14 for 44? And you still won tennis game because you want to know why? DeAndre Aiden played out of his mind, okay? Dominated today, came to play, and did his absolute thing today okay deandre a and today had 19 points 22 rebounds yes i said that correctly 22 rebounds three assists one steal and four blocks okay this guy has just been playing huge stepping up in a huge way for the suns okay he's played literally the best basketball of his career so far this season honestly playoff wise he's been great rebounds now defending wise today four blocks okay added on 22 rebounds okay this guy is uh, stepping up huge and rising to the occasion and just playing some great minutes okay now today alongside aiden bridges today has six points to be a 13 rebounds Devin booker today 25 points two rebounds chris paul today 18 points seven assists four rebounds carter today 3.7 rebounds Campaign today, five points, three assists, two rebounds. Here we go on to the Clippers. Okay, today, 
PG today had 23 points, 6 assists, 16 rebounds. Zubac today had 13 points, 1 assist, 14 rebounds. Reggie Jackson today, 20 points, 1 assist, 5 rebounds. Habeb today, 2 points, 2 assists, 4 rebounds. Morris today, 4 points, 2 assists. Terrence Mann today, 12 points, 4 rebounds. Batum today, 3 points, 1 assist, 6 rebounds. Kanar today, 2 points and 2 rebounds. Boogie today scored one point, and his only minutes today was him shooting two free throw shots, making the first one, missing the second one on purpose so bad that it was called a violation, okay? Boogie, you are a veteran player, and you accidentally missed a shot. You missed it so bad that it hit the backboard. You didn't even aim for the rim, but you said said aim for the backboard. And here's that right here. And if you're Phoenix, how bad do you want to go up 3-1? You have to get this rebound. And that's a violation. I don't know. Cousins probably didn't know the rule. It has to hit the rim. How do you just not even aim for the rim, aim for the backboard, and get a violation calling you boogie late? Man, Kawhi Leonard, man. He's still out. It's tough to see, man. Very, very tough to see. I believe today was, what, his sixth consecutive game out. And, man. He's just a huge part of this Clippers team, and they are nowhere near good without him than they are with them, which makes complete sense. And Clippers fans, man, you are now down 3-1, headed back to Phoenix, where Phoenix looks to win game five and go on to the NBA championship and compete for a ring and win Chris Paul and Devin Booker, their first ever rings. So crazy, crazy, crazy. But like I said, today's game was horrendous, okay? The score was 84-80. to 80. They didn't score for six consecutive minutes. But the game is horrendous, okay? This game is just flat out horrendous, okay? This game sucked, okay? A game ending 84 to 80? Like, man. Good fucking night, man. Good, good fucking night. But other than that, yo, that is the video. Make sure to go down below. Drop a like, comment below. So, make sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. It's your boy John. Hope you guys did the video. It's your boy John. And I'm out, man. Peace.